Hey everybody, we're here to talk to you guys about shock setup. We're going to give you guys a few tips on how to properly set up your power stroke shocks. And we're also going to break down the different components in the shock itself and then explain to you what certain changes will do to the shock and how it will affect the performance of your vehicle. At any point during this video, you can skip forward to any of the different sections listed on the annotations below. The Power Stroke Shock features a dual rate spring setup. So what that means is that it has a primary spring up top and a secondary spring at the bottom. By having that, it gives you the ability to tune the shocks to different terrain conditions. What happens when you have a dual rate spring setup is your primary spring will engage first, then your secondary spring at the bottom will come into play. Now, we do offer different spring rates, so you can tune it even more to whatever surface you're running on. You can check out our spring rate chart by clicking on the link in the description. So all of our shots feature a spring adjustment net, and by adjusting that up or down, you are able to set up the right height on your vehicle, and you can also increase the tension on your springs. The shots come with a stock spring setup that's a good medium for most trucks out there. Now if you're running a truck that's heavier or lighter, we do offer a separate spring assortment pack so you can adjust your truck to the proper right height. The power stroke shock is a larger bore than most shocks out there, but our largest bore shock is a prospect shock at 12 millimeters. Now the benefits of having a big bore shock is that you have more fluid disbursement inside in comparison to the shaft that goes in and out. By having more oil in the shock body, it reduces heat buildup so while the power stroke shock is a bladder style shock, which means it has a bladder in the cap, our prospect shocks are an emulsion style shock, which means it is a mixture of air and oil inside the body, which makes it a lot more smoother and consistent. So you will need that consistency when you're tuning your shocks to various track conditions. The prospect shocks come with Delrin shaft guides and pistons. The benefit of having Delrin parts is that it has a low coefficient of friction and they're also self-lubricating. The Prospect shocks also include optional pistons and limiters. Now you would use the different size pistons when you're trying to adjust your shocks to different track conditions. The pistons with the smaller holes would be used when you're using a lighter shock oil, and the pistons with the larger holes when you're using a thicker shock oil. As for the limiters, you can use them to adjust the amount of down travel or droop that you're getting out of your truck. Our Prospect shocks and our Ultra Reservoir shocks feature an X-ring setup. What an X-ring does, it creates two contact areas, so you only need one X-ring as compared to having to have two O-rings and a spacer to create that same amount of contact area, which in turn gives you a much more smoother operating shock. So moving on to shock oils. You can use different types of shock oil weights to tune your trucks to different driving conditions. For short course trucks, we recommend you don't go below a 30 weight oil at its thinnest or go on above a 45 weight oil at its thickest. What we have here is a 35 weight oil, which is a good medium to start off with. So with this 35 weight oil that I have here, I'm going to show you guys how to properly fill up your power stroke shock. So we're going to start off first by opening up the shock oil. And we will slowly start pouring it inside the shock body. But you don't want to fill it up all the way to the top. You want to go about three quarters of a way up on the shock body. Next what you want to do is you want to slide the shaft up and down the shock body just so you can get some of those air bubbles that are trapped underneath the shock body itself and get them to work their way up to the top. So just gradually go up and down and that will work the air bubbles up out of the shock. Once you've done that and you can see that the, most of the air bubbles have escaped, you can go ahead and finish filling up the shock body with the shock oil just almost to the top of the shock body itself. So once you have that all set, then we can move on to putting the shock cap on and bleeding the shock out. Now this is a bladder style shock, so we're gonna use the shock cap. It has a bladder in there and allow that to bleed the shock out to get the excess air out. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna slide the shaft all the way up to the top till it stops. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the shock cap on 
and just start it slowly. And as you're turning the shock cap, make sure you hold the shock shaft up against the body. Rotate the shock slightly and continue to turn the body and you will see the oil will start to drip out of the vent holes on the shock cap. Now make sure you have shock rags lying around and underneath the shock cap or shock itself because you will have oil start coming out of the shock cap once you start bleeding it. Once that's done, you can grab the rag, wipe off the excess oil from the cap, and then just snug it down and make sure it's nice and tight. And there you can see the oil's already in there. Your shaft moves in smooth inside and outside of the body with a little bit of compression in there or a rebound. Once we have the oil inside the shock body, then we can go ahead and move on and put the spring back onto the shock. Now the power stroke shock, like we said before, features a dual rate spring setup. So you will start first with your primary spring, which is a small spring. Slide that right in. You get your secondary spring, which is a long spring with the coupler. And slide that right in. And then you're gonna pull your spring up along with the bump stop. And once you do that, then you're gonna put your spring perch underneath and catch the spring. And there you have it, your shock is complete. Now after doing so, once you have your shock mounted up on your vehicle, if you want to adjust the right height, you can do so by turning the shock spring retainer down or up, depending which way you want to go or which way you want to adjust the right height on your truck. Our Prospect shocks feature a bleeder screw on top of the shock cap, which allows you to bleed them when you're filling them up. For a tutorial on how to properly fill and bleed your Prospect shocks, click on the link below. Our Ultra Reservoir shocks require a different process to fill and bleed the oil. For a tutorial on doing that to the Ultra Reservoir shocks, click on this link. We hope this video was informative, and as mentioned before, we have a spring rate chart that you can check out by clicking on the link in the description. And if you liked the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, or for more information on these shocks and other Proline Racing products, make sure you check out ProLineRacing.com.